how do we simplify this? So let's start by breaking this down to be 6, because this is 6 to the power 1 times 6 to the power 2n times 6 to the power 2n times 9 to the power n times 4 to the power 2n over. Since these two have the same power, we can multiply them. Remember that if we have a dot b to power n, this can be a to power n times b to power n. Likewise, I can take this back to this by multiplying them and bringing out the power. Since the power is both n, we'll have 18 times 2 is okay, 18 times 2 to power n times 12 to power 2n. The same thing we did here, we'll do it here again. And so that we'll have 6 times 6 times 4 to the power 2n times 9 to the power n over 18 times 2 is 36 to the power n times 12 to the power 2n. So this is 6 times 24 to the power 2n times 9 to the power n over 36 to the power n times 12 to the power 2n. You know, in indices, when we divide, we subtract the powers. So I can divide this individually with the corresponding terms. So I can write as 6 times 24. Since both of them have 2 to the power n, the same thing we did here. If we have a over b to the power n, the same thing as a to the power n over b to the power n. So I can take this back to this. So these two can be written as over 12, 2n. And this and this can be written as 9 over 36n. 12 can go 24 two times. 9 can go 36 four times. So I am left with 6 times 2 raised to the power 2n times 1 over 4. And 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 raised to the power n. So what I have left now is 6 times 2 raised to the power 2n. This is anything as 2 raised to the power minus 2. And from those of indices, product law, we multiply the power. So this is times 2 raised to the power minus 2n. This can go with this is 1. So we are left with 6, which is the answer. So we meet again. Keep enjoying math. Bye.